We are apologizing for the fact that um, we have made too many offers. First, I was in shock. I didn't even really know what was going on. Dozens of prospective students at Thompson Rivers University were ready to attend the university's law school for the fall semester until suddenly their acceptance letters were taken back. Some of these students had already quit their jobs, took out loans, and even bought homes in Kamloops before learning their future was uncertain. My parents actually purchased a property out there and then I've taken out student loans. I quit the job that I was working and I've moved up to Kamloops. So, I mean, as you can imagine, I'm pretty deep into this thing. This student who wished to remain anonymous says they're now on an overflow wait list. The options they're giving us is to kind of go on this overflow wait list per se or kind of defer to next year. I mean, I guess that would set me back a year, which is Honestly, I can't afford that financially, mentally, physically, like everything is just kind of geared to me going to law school this year. So that would be a huge setback. Initially, 42 students received acceptance offers before being told they were on the wait list. The number of waitlisted students has since dropped to 26. The Dean of Law at TRU says there's always a proportion of students that don't take their acceptance offer. Some students might decide to go to a different law school or drop out altogether. The university says it's common for post-secondary institutions to accept more students than the seats available in a program. It is a standard practice actually to offer more offers than the seats available. This year, unexpectedly, we did not see the same dropouts. And that is at this point that we decided, look, we are going to go to the students and be upfront with them and say to them, normally by this time we've had more dropouts. You know, we really want to talk to you and reach out so that we can prepare for the real eventuality of not having enough seats. Kamloops lawyer and TRU alumnus Cameron Johnson says this situation reflects poorly on the law school and the law degrees of his fellow alumni. We're talking about a year long delay and delaying uh, a person's entry into a profession and the loss of a year's worth of income at the end of their their earning potential. We are apologizing for the fact that um, we have made too many offers, right? Um, but in the same um, vein, just to say that it is not unprecedented. The dean says this was her first enrollment cycle and that she didn't have the advantage of a full team for the academic year. My colleague Martin McMahon at News 1130 asked the dean if the law school would look at its program subscription process going forward. So just to be clear, there's going to be some sort of an assessment of the oversubscription process moving forward. Absolutely. In Vancouver, Kier Junos, City News.